passing the open guard after establishing some pressure on the inside once we've placed our opponent on their back. And this time we're going to look at uh, looking to get into the side smash, wrapping the head, and finishing in the mount position. So, Once again, I've already set my uh, uh, partner down here. Maybe I've looked for my bullfight pass, or maybe I had stood to open guard, and he did a good job of bringing his legs here towards the inside, and I've already had to kind of force my way down, pushing his knee down out of the way, sliding my shin over his leg, keeping all of my pressure here, and, and all of it forward. Again, it's all kind of forward down at an angle, okay? I don't want to be like completely over him and on top, okay? Once again, the hands are going to start to come up, and I'm immediately going to look to fight for wrist control here, okay? Now, this time, I'm key, he's keeping his head up and I'm really gonna keep really good head control here and I'm really gonna pull him into me and really start to like scrunch him up, okay? Make him feel very uncomfortable, okay? Now, as I'm doing that, I already start to feel like his knee kind of shift in uh, a, a little bit towards the side. So if, if I start to feel that, then I'm gonna look to go right into my uh, side smash position here, okay? So to do that, I'm just going to use my uh, uh, chest and kind of really turn uh, 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 my left shoulder into him because I'm coming towards my left side. And as that does, you can see how it almost naturally brings the knee across. And when I feel that happen, I'm going to jump my legs here out to the side, keeping control of the head, bringing my back leg, my left knee here towards the inside of his legs to split his legs as this knee comes down to the side. So as this starts to turn here, I jump out to the side, bringing my knee up, splitting his legs right here. Turn this way. Here, I'm keeping wrist control. I'm going to pull his head into me here, and I'm really going to kind of open my knees so that I'm kind of in here in this side smash position, okay? From here, my favorite thing to do is look to wrap over the head, cup the chin and turn his head to the outside here, okay? Uh, it just like taking away his ability to, to, to turn and, and shrimp and escape, okay? From here, this hand might start to go ahead and start to come through and I might have to lock, uh, maybe, maybe he looks for an underhook, I might have to go for my over under front headlock grip or I might be able to weave my hand underneath, okay? If I can weave my hand underneath for an underhook, that's great. From here, all I'm going to look to do is bring my knee to his ribs, just like this, and I'm just going to step over in one transitional step all the way over here into mount, okay? Now, if I'm able to do this with an underhook, oftentimes I could place my head on the mat, wrap my hands over, and maybe look to finish with a guillotine from here. If not, I can at least establish the mount position and uh, continue to go to work from here, okay? So again, we've made it here to this position, but this time as I'm keeping pressure forward, I really start to feel this knee kind of start to shift here, okay? So I'm gonna to look to fight the hands, fight the wrist, gain head control here, okay? Maybe I want to side smash this time too. So I'm gonna gain head control, I'm gonna to start to turn uh, uh, my chest over just a little bit and kind of allow his leg to slightly pass or naturally pass over to this side here. As I do, I'm going to jump my legs, my back leg here, splitting his legs out to the side, keeping all of my pressure here on top of his leg, and really driving my knees out, okay? Kind of bringing my knees in, driving uh, my knees out. I want my hip right on top of his knee, right at where his thigh meets his knee, my chest pressuring here against his shoulder. Okay, from here he's going to continue to try to turn to his side, maybe trying to create space as that happens. I'm going to wrap my hand over, cup the chin. Okay, now I might try to weave in for the underhook. Sometimes here they might turn, they might get the underhook. Okay, this is fine. I can still make this pass work. I'm just going to lock my hands in the front headlock position and I'm going to slide my knee towards the inside here. Okay, and then from here all I'm going to do is step my left knee around over his hip, right into the mount position. Now this time, because my hand is locked, I'm probably going to have to use my head as base right here. And then again, I've uh, maintained, or I've already established the mount position. I might be able to finish arm in guillotine, maybe switch to no arm. If not, I've established the mount. I could come over and go right into my mount offensive game. Okay, so it just kind of depends on what's available and what he gives you. Okay, if he gives you either one of the uh, arm in or no arm guillotine attacks from the beginning, great, take it. If not, establish the pass, 
establish the mount position here, establish your points, and continue to go to work. So one more time at full speed. And finish at the mount position. So this is how I like to force my way towards the inside, use the side smash, get my pass, and go right into the mount position.